guys welcome you all to my channel is this your first time of coming to my channel thanks a lot don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so in today's tutorial we are going to make a simple video on how to take your body measurements don't forget to join us on facebook td designs on instagram TG Designs and also visit our website. We have amazing fashion illustration on our website. All the details are going to be in the description box below. I also have a detailed tutorial where I explain various size charts. I also have a detailed video where I explain various men size charts. If you are interested in knowing your size charts as a guy, then kindly watch the video in the description box below. But I'm going to be showing you guys how to take your body measurement for male. So now, I'm going to be using him to explain to you guys how to take your body measurement for male. So the first thing you have to do basically is to place your tape measure at the center back. So this is the back. You place your tape, place your tape measure at the center back. And then you take it up to your shoulder bone this way so you can see that what we have here is nine and a half inches so this is your shoulder measurement from your center bone your neck bone to your shoulder bone we have nine and a half measurements nine and a half inches so from this shoulder bone you go ahead now and take your sleeve length so if it's your short sleeve you take it up to where you want your short sleeve measurement to get up to if you want a long sleeve you go ahead and take it up to where your desired length is so now the next thing you also have to do now is so when you place your tape measure now across the arm make sure it is free so that it can move easily so the next thing we are going to do now is to take your chest measurement so when you place the tape measurement on the chest Please, if you place it this way, this is actually wrong. And this is because guys' measurements are not fitted. So make sure you're losing your tape measurements to be free so that it can move across the chest. Now, when you're taking measurements for guys that have big tummy or pot belly, it is also necessary for you to take the measurements of the tummy as the waist, okay? But since my client has fitted body, since my client does not have a pot belly, you basically use your chest measurement this way. So for this now, we have 42 inches and we just take it round. But if it has a big tummy, please make sure you take the measurement for the tummy also. Now, the next thing we also want to do now is to take the length measurement. And for guys, it is abnormal for you to measure a crop top. <laughs> it's abnormal for you to measure a crop top. Or like a fitted top for guys this is because normally guys tops are usually long so when you are placing your tape measure please ensure that it comes across the tummy and this is because when you are dealing with guys that have big tummy so that the tape measure can also cover up the tummy uh, measurement so you take it all the way down so you can see that what we have here is 33 inches what we have here for the top length is 33 inches so now we want to measure the trousers measurement now it is also necessary for you to make sure that your client stands straight when you are taking the measurements and also communicate with your client so know where your client put on their trousers up to know where their trousers know where your clients put on their trousers up to like where do they usually place their trousers on their waist so when they place their trousers we automatically serve as the waist measurement so we have 38 inches so from that point now where they place their trousers that is where you are going to take your trouser length so from that point that's where you are going to take your trouser length and at this point now we have 38 inches for the length now we want to take our round lap measurements it is also very wrong for you to take your round lap measurement this way this is wrong okay why you place your tape measure please ensure that it is free because guys trousers are usually free okay and ensure that they also spread out their legs so that you know you get it so you place your tape measure this way make sure that it is free so at this point now we have 27 and a half inches now you also take the round foot measurement it is also very wrong for you to take the measurement this way this is wrong so make sure you place the tape measure this way and it is free this is because their foot will automatically pass out at this lower part okay so for this now 14 inches for the round foot is actually fine 
So the next measurement now that we want to take now is their hip measurements. And when you are placing your tape measurement on the hip, please ensure that it passes across the back side also. And you know, that is also very free so that there will not be any obstruction at this part. So there won't be any obstruction at this part of the trousers. So make sure you move it. Okay, you can see that what we have now is 43 inches. Basically, this is how to take your body measurement for male. And I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please feel free to drop your questions in the comment section or any topic you want us to make a video on. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next one.